so now go to the new relic go to the infrastructure here you can see like some matrices are start coming yes so host is configured so cpu percentage load average five minutes memory used these matrices uh, start coming to the new relic now go to the kubernetes cluster you can see this kubernetes cluster is configured to the new relic here you can see the cpu utilization memory utilization how many nodes that is worker node ports how many ports are running 110 ports can be run in one one uh, worker node so it is showing 10 ports are running in the cluster and now go to the kubernetes you will see all the data related to the cluster the two names spaces are there deployments are one node is one ports is nine port is running so nine ports these are the ports these hexagonals are the ports if you click over there you can see the name of the pod new relic infra pod this one is keep cellular pod these ports are showing here you can see the cpu memory and utilization of memory etc is showing this is the node this is a worker node if your nodes will be more than here those nodes will be showing okay i can if you go down here you can see that one ip address this one is our master machine so these are the ports running you can see it, the memory utilization and cpu utilization also it is giving okay so if you want to go to dashboard so there is a dashboard you can access from here if you go to infrastructure and then go to the third party services then kubernetes dashboard if you go to the kubernetes dashboard so all the matrices related to the cluster will be shown here so so my master machine core then memory then objects the namespaces default and kubernetes only two namespaces are there so container restarts how many containers are restarted like that then cpu uses and memory uses so it is graphically it is showing then volumes then container uh, bytes how many bytes are used by containers how many cpu cores are using by the containers from the plus from the node so missing ports by deployment what are the ports are not coming up these ports not running by cluster this is this will be showing so related to the cluster all the data will be available here okay it will be automatically come into the kubernetes dashboard the dashboard will be shown here okay if you want to create a dashboard go to the dashboard create a dashboard like kas okay then create the dashboard will be created okay now go to this plus symbol add a chart suppose you want to see the cpu and memory utilization of the pod go to the matrix and then click here and then cpu so cpu used core 
you can see container CPU use score you can see and then I take maximum I am taking so here you will get your cluster name this one then here you can container name you can use okay and then go for line area or anything you can take okay name something name anything name you can give and then save it so related to the kubernetes cluster all the daughters you can create a dashboard okay so this is how uh, we can configure kubernetes with new relic okay Okay, that's all for this video we'll see you in the next video thank you